Hi everybody, my name is Arthur and welcome to another Pixel Pad tutorial. We are coding our Fruit Slashers game. And in the last video, I presented to you a challenge that I wanted you to accomplish or try to accomplish, right? That was to add the splashes to all the fruits and also add a new uh, type of fruit that's gonna be a bomb. This bomb is gonna have a different uh, animation. It's not gonna have a splash. It's gonna have an explosion, right? But they're basically the same. And the bomb also should be a fruit because it will behave as a fruit, right? So first, let's uh, add first all these splashes we need. So I have here the orange splash. I'm gonna go look for the other splashes that I need. So here on the sprites plus, I will look first for the, I don't know, let's see the, the green splash maybe. Okay, so here I have the green splash. I select it, select asset, green splash. I have my green splash there. I'm gonna keep going and I will gather my purple splash as well. Here we have the purple splash. Select asset, purple splash. Okay. So I have my two splashes here and I'm gonna uh, create new classes for both of them. So I have one class for the orange splash, right? And I'll have another class for the green splash and another class for the purple splash. So let's start here by creating a new class for the green splash. And let's do the uh, first the green splash and then we do the purple splash later. So the green splash is gonna be the same thing as the orange splash, right? The only difference is because here on the orange splash, we use a sprite sheet from the sprite orange splash.png. But for the green splash, we're gonna use the green splash.png. And if you look at both animations, so here I have the orange splash, right? Then we have the green splash, and then you have the purple splash. You can see that they are basically the same. They just change the color, right? So that means that we don't have to change those values here, like the number of rows and the number of columns, or we don't have to change how fast this animation is gonna play from which image and to which image, right? Because they all have the same size and they should all play in the same speed, right? We're also probably gonna have the same timer for both. Uh, they scale, I will also leave two, and the loop will work the same way. It's just a timer, keep reducing, and then if the timer reaches zero, we destroy ourselves, right? The, the splash animation. So what I'm gonna do, because we have uh, two classes that are basically the same, so what I can do, I can just copy here the start tab from my orange splash, so I select here all the start tab, I hold Control press C, or Command C if you're on Mac, I go to my green splash and I'll do control V here to paste my code here. And I'm gonna go back to my orange splash and I'm also gonna copy the loop tab. I select everything, control C again, green splash on the loop tab. I paste my code there, control V. So now I have my green splash class with the same code as my orange splash class, right? You can see that when I switch between them, the code doesn't change here at all, right? So let's do the change that we need here on the green splash. The only thing we have to change is to change orange splash to green splash, right? And now if we go on the slicer loop tab here, we check if the fruit tag is banana or if the fruit tag is orange, because if it if it is any of those, then I create my orange splash, right? So here, after this if, I can check here, L if, so if it's not banana and it's not orange, then check for me if my fruit.tag is equals equal, so I'm creating the green splash now, so I'm, I'm gonna look for a pineapple. So if my fruit tag is pineapple, then my splash is gonna be not a orange splash, but my splash is gonna be a green splash, right? So splash equals green splash. And brackets, brackets. Okay, so now I have to position this splash at the same position as my fruit, right? So 
I can say splash dot x equals fruit dot x and uh, fruit dot x and splash dot y equals fruit dot y. Okay, so now my my green splash should be created uh, whenever we slice a pineapple. So let's try it out. I'll press play here and I'll wait for the pineapple. So the orange works, the banana also works. Let's wait for the pineapple. Give me a pineapple, please. There. So there you go. Yeah, we had the green splash. The eggplant still doesn't have the purple splash. That's the next one we have to add. So again, let's just repeat the same process we've just done. So here I'm going to create a new class. Purple splash. I will copy the code for my green splash to my purple splash. So control C, control V, right? And I will also copy the loop tab from my green splash to my purple splash. So control C again, go to my purple splash, loop tab and paste it there, control V. Now my purple splash has the same code as my green splash. As you can see, I am switching between them and the code is exactly the same. But for the purple splash, I just have to change the sprite's name and the sprite's name is gonna be purple splash dot PNG. Right, all the data for the sprite sheet and for the for the animation should be the same. And now we just have to go to the slicer on the loop tab. We check if it is a banana or an orange, I create the orange splash. If it is a pineapple, I create a green splash. And if it is not the pineapple and it is not the banana and it's not the uh, orange, then check for me if my fruit tag is equals equals eggplant. So if my fruit tag is eggplant, then my splash is going to be a purple splash. And this is splash exposition is going to be the same as my fruits exposition uh, every time. And my splash y position is going to be the same as my fruit uh, y position. Okay, so now whenever we slice a eggplant, it should give us the purple splash. And all our fruits now should have splash. There you go. So the pine, uh, the eggplant also gives us splashes. The pineapple gives us splashes. All our fruits inside the game now are giving us splashes, right? So the last thing we have to do now is to add a bomb. And the bomb is going to be basically the same. But we have to do one extra step. So first, I'm going to look for the bomb sprite. So here on the sprites, I'll look for the bomb. It should be on the B section. So I'm going to go previews, previews, previews until I find the B. So C, B here, bomb. There I go. So I select my bomb, select asset, and I'll call it uh, bomb. There you go. So as I said, the bomb is also going to be a fruit because it is going to behave as a fruit, right? It will jump on the screen, it will fall. And if I slice it, it will play an animation, right? So I'm going to go to my fruits here, my fruits class. And the first thing I will do, I have to add my bomb as a sprite possibility here as well. But for now, I'm just getting an, a random number between zero and four, right? And this is giving me a number between zero and three, actually. So here, if my number is zero is a banana, if my number is one is an eggplant, if my number is two is an orange, if my number is three is a pineapple. So now first, first thing I want to do, I want to increase the range. So instead of zero and four, this is going to be zero and five because I'm adding one extra fruit here. That is my bomb, right? So from zero and five, this is going to then uh, give me a random number between zero and four. So just by increasing one number here, you can see that whenever I press play, sometimes we will get a blue square as a fruit. There you go. There. Did you see? Again. So this blue square means that it is giving me here a number four, right? Because zero and five, it gives me a, a random number between zero and four because of this int here, right? And the four we didn't say which sprite is the number four, right? We, we, don't, we don't do anything if the, the number we get here is the number four. So what I want to do here is 
I will add another elif here. So elif. And I'll check now for the number four. So if self dot number is equals equals four, then so if the number is four, then I want it to be a bomb. So I can say that self dot sprite is going to be a sprite from the file bomb dot png and self dot points oh, self dot points. Uh, so how much points this bomb is going to give me. So I could either make this bomb to zero my score to reset my score, right? Or I could just make it uh, take some points from me. So for example, I could make it take 10 points from me, or I could make it zero my score, reset my score by saying that this is going to give me the inverse of my game dot score. So if my game score is 50, my bomb is going to give me minus 50 points. So at the end, I will get zero points, right? I will have zero points at the end. So I don't know how you want to work with your bomb. <laughs> but for me, I think I will just take 15 points if I slice a bomb. Okay, now let's see how that's working. So if I stop and play my game, let's see if we get a bomb. Uh, eggplant, orange, eggplant banana, orange, bomb. So I slice a bomb and it has that fruit object has no attribute tag in slice, slicer loop on line 20. Okay, so what it's saying is because here on the slicer loop on line 20, it checks for a fruit tag, right? And not just on line 20, but it's because it start reading from the top, right? So when it finds the first error here, it stops because my fruit doesn't have a tag right now, if it is a bomb, because if it is a bomb, we are not specifying the tag like we do here for the pineapple or for the orange or for the eggplant, right? So here, if my fruit number is four, uh, I'll get a bomb, my points will be minus 15, and I'll also have a tag that is gonna be bomb. Bomb is the tag of this fruit. So now, okay, now it should not give me an error. Let's try again. Hmm, eggplant, but I could not slice that. Okay, this one. So I sliced the bomb, it disappeared and gave me minus 15 points, right? Uh, the last thing we want to do is to add an explosion in case we slice the bomb. And to add an explosion is going to be basically the same as we did with the splashes. So first I'm going to look for the explosion animation. So I'm going to press the plus on the sprites and I'm going to look for explosion here, the explosion we need. And I'm going to select asset and call it explosion. There you go. And as you can see, the orange splash has this form, right? The green splash has the same form. The purple splash has the same form. And the explosion also have the same form. So we don't have to change any part of the code for the explosion, like we did for the green or purple or uh, orange splashes, right? They will all have a similar code. So I'm going to create a new class for my explosion. So in the classes here, I'll press the plus button and I'll call it explosion. Yep, there I have my explosion. And I'll do the same as I did for the purple and green splashes. So I will copy my purple splash and I'll paste it inside my explosion. So here on the start tab, control C to copy everything. Go to my explosion, control V. And I do the same on the loop tab. So on my purple splash loop tab, I control C all the loop tab. And on my explosion loop, I control V to paste the code here, right? And we know that we just have to change here the sprites name. So purple splash, it's not going to be purple splash anymore. This is going to be explosion, right? And the last thing on the slicer loop, if we slice a bomb, I want to create an explosion and not a splash, right? So here, after I check if the fruit tag is eggplant, I'll check then L if the fruit dot tag is equals equals bomb. If it is equals bomb, then I don't want to create a splash, I want to create an explosion. So I'll call it uh, explosion is gonna be an explosion. 
So here I create my class explosion and I store it inside my variable explosion, right? And they are different. As you can see, the E on the class is uppercase and the E in my variable is lowercase. So they are different. So this is my variable and this is my class. Okay, so my explosion is a new explosion and this explosion.x is gonna be the same as my fruit.x. So this explosion can be created on top of my fruit and I'll do the same for the y. So explosion.y is gonna be the same as my fruit.y. And that should work fine already. Let's see, I slice a pineapple, I slice a bomb. Yeah, I think everything is working fine now. I have all the splashes on all my fruits, right? I have a bomb that is taking points from me. Yeah, that's working fine. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Just make sure you press save in your game and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.